5. In this tutorial, we will discuss 10 stack queries version 5. Version 5 has included a lot of different things, a lot of breaking changes and a lot of new features and we will be going to discuss most of them in this video. If you like the video, kindly like and subscribe to the channel because it keeps me motivated to make more videos. So first of all, let's discuss the new features that have been added. So first of all, we have a new way of using optimistic updates. So optimistic updates is basically a way of showing the change on the UI before the mutation result actually happens on the database. So you send the mutation, you show the uh, particular thing on the UI before even uh, you know it st stores on the database on the server. And when it comes back as a response, if some error has happened then you you know discard that change on the ui if you know it has been successful then it stays on the ui so that is what optimistic update is previously there was a way of doing that but now it's become even more simple so um use mutation is returning a mutate function i have a button which is add grossly to do i am using the mutate function and passing a string grossly this grossly is going here and then this is going here to this particular endpoint and um, I'm what I'm right now I'm not basically doing optimistic update but basically uh, it's very simple now so I will get is pending and variables from here so is pending would basically be true when I would call the mutate function and basically it would remain true for the time the mutation is going you know it hasn't resolved yet so I will say is pending and and li. I would add another li uh, tag and here I would add variables. Cool. So variables is basically what I'm passing in the mutate function, which is you know in this case a string. So let's see what happens now. So I let me open the console. Yeah, I go to the net network tab. I click on add grocery to do. You can see that the grocery th thing was added and then it was removed. Why? because I, I'm using invalidate queries and this is a dummy API so it doesn't actually mutate but basically what is happening is when I click on the button is pending becomes true and then whatever variable I added in mutate for that particular mutation comes here so in this case grossly comes here and you know I can see the change on the UI and when on uh, when the endpoint results like the response comes back on settled gets called and this happens now because this is a dummy endpoint obviously this grocery hasn't been added to the list of to do's so you know nothing really happens um invalidate queries refetches the query and obviously grocery is removed so but if it was a real server then you know grocery would be um, present on the at the end of the uh, list and that is a very nice and unique and, and you know, easy way of doing optimistic updates cool now another thing um suspense so previously if we were using uh, if we wanted to use suspense then we added a suspense true option here you know suspense true suspense true suspense true but now uh, as you can see uh, i'm using variant 5 and it is you know showing an error so um now we have got separate hooks for each of these for only suspense purposes so i don't need to pass suspense true option if i want to use the suspense for query or queries or infant query whatever then there are separate hooks for that. So, so use suspense query, use suspense infinite query, and then use suspense queries. Now I can remove the suspense too. And now I'll be able to use suspense with these uh, query hooks without passing that particular option. So that is another new feature that has been added, these three hooks. Yeah, <coughs> and now some miscellaneous changes, small changes so a max pages option is that has been added for infinite queries so um now you can specify for infinite queries that i want these number of pages to be cached and obviously these number of pages to be refetched when i call a refetch function so that is a new thing which has been added in infinite queries then also uh, in the previous version if we were uh, you know prefetching an infinite query then we were basically only prefetching the first page but now we can you know prefetch multiple pages now another thing is type safe way to create query options so basically when you are using the use query hook directly you know that it has type safety so you, whenever you are typing in options etc 
it typescript is basically telling you know this is the part this is a proper type this uh, is a proper type your um, property you're using but the value is uh, wrong etc etc just like we saw in the case of suspense suspense 2 is now not supported so it showed an error but what if you want to like have the query options in some separate file and then maybe you want to reuse them in some other files obviously type support won't be present in that case so in that case you can use the query options function from test text query and then you know it would provide you type safety so now if let's say i do suspense true here as well oh it shouldn't basically allow me to do that but it did weird mm -hmm. okay maybe it's not working properly but that was the intention of it um weird okay then next thing is command queries so um, we know that whenever you use the use queries hook we basically return an array of query results so query result is basically you know anything um, in case of use query it's an object with data is loading um, you know all the other things status etc so in case of use queries it's an array of query results with you know um, a result for every query we have here right so in this case there are three ids um, i'm mapping the ids I'm, I'm making three queries so obviously there would be an array of three objects with uh, you know individual data statuses etc everything but now we have a combined function in use queries which can be used to make a separate um, make basically combine the results of all the queries into one single object just like in case of use query so if i remove this you will see that it throws an error it says you know data does not exist on type use query result uh, array but if you use the command function now we will be able to get one single data and one single property you know based on whatever you're returning here in this command function which is great now we have a lot of breaking changes as well so these were the new features which have been added so first of all um you can see a lot of errors popping um the previously there were two or three ways in which we could use every hook or every function for example in this case in the previous version you could pass a query key as the first param a query function at the first a second param and then an object of you know all the things uh, like uh, enabled etc all the other options or you can pa you could pass an option uh, you could pass an object with which was one single param and then you know the query key could go with the query key property and the query function would go with the query fn property etc similarly in case of use mutation you could do this and this and every other function in case just like in case of refetch queries you could just pass the query key as the param or you could pass an object with the query key key and the you know value query key but now because it's you know first of all it's confusing obviously there are two syntaxes and also it's typescript so it's, it is difficult for typescript it's not difficult but basically it takes more time for typescript to see you know if based because there are two types in images so it's kind of slow so now basically they have um removed these syntaxes and now it only all the hooks and the query client methods etc everything now expects an object notation so uh, all these functions and hooks would uh, now expect an object and that if we want to pass a query key in any function or hook we would use the query key key and then you know you would use the query key similarly the query fn key for query function if you want to you know pass it anywhere like just like in this case fetch query use query and also in uh, whenever we would want to use the mutation function in any function or hook then we would pass an object and use the mutation function uh, key which is basically you know um standardizes the processes standardizes the process and you don't get confused and it's much better then we have query callbacks so previously you could add on success on error and on settled callbacks inside use query now you can do it so there is another way of doing this so you have to um wherever the query client is uh, specified you will use a query cache option and then pass 
a new query cache and in here you will uh, add any you know on error on success or on setter callbacks here you know based on whatever you want to do and you ha can have the logic for those globally here instead of in individual queries there are reasons for why that has happened and you can you know uh, look at this migrating task stack query thing and you will there is a whole um, yeah, there is a whole GitHub issue and then a whole blog written by this person who is a maintainer of Tansa query and you can see it. Okay, next thing is get query data. So also for get query data, um, because it's singular, previously we could specify a query key and uh, some other filters as well. So it should match this query key, but should be uh, but if it's active and it's still then it should match etc etc now it only expects one param so only the query key no filter same with query, query state because it is a singular thing it would only match with the query key no filters are allowed in this case however for get queries data because it obviously will um, match with a lot of queries you can still pass filters which is great now some miscellaneous things small things so now uh the typescript uh, version 5 would only work with a minimum version of typescript 4.7 because it is using some latest uh, typescript things and react 18.0 because it is using some things from react 18 so you would need these latest versions now another thing private class fields and methods so previously um test query was using private class fields from typescript so the private keyword and we all know the private keyword doesn't really make your fields private it only you know does it on the compile time but at runtime you are still able to access it so now they have changed it to the ecmascript way of defining private fields which is using the hash symbol so now even in runtime you cannot access the private fields then uh, they have renamed the cache time property which we have specified in use query etc to GC time which stands for garbage collected time because there was slight confusion as to what is exactly is cache time so they changed the name to GC time so that it's more, more clear also the hydrate component has been renamed to hydration boundary and the use hydrate hook has been removed and another thing which is kind of big in a way because um, we know that um, in Next.js, there have been, you know, um, two new hooks have been introduced, the optimistic hook and the form status hook. And the form status hook also returns a pending property. And now they, uh, test query has also shifted the names from the status loading to status pending. So if the status were loading before, now it would be pending. And the is loading thing we get from use query, that has been changed to is pending. And the motivation behind that is because we want to say that the promise you know, basically it is a promise right any query so the promise is pending you know it hasn't resolved yet so that is why they have uh, you know renamed it from is loading to is pending which makes more sense and then the remove method has been removed from use query so previously use query was returning a remove method and that if you call if you if you call that method the method then basically it used to remove the query from the cache but now they have removed that but if you still want to do it you can use the uh, query client dot remove queries method that is still present there uh, if you want to do that so this was the um test tech query version 5 a lot of breaking changes are there as you saw you know the new object syntax and uh, you know um, some other things as well new features like suspense hooks and um new way of you know new and simpler way of using optimistic updates so if you like the tutorial, uh, kindly like and subscribe. And if you have any question or confusion, you can comment down below. I'll, I will obviously try to answer it. And uh, as always, like and subscribe. I will see you in the next video. Bye.